All right, so happy Monday morning. And again, either lying on your back or staying seated, however you want to just start your practice, just closing your eyes and just really recognizing that beautiful breath coming in and coming out and just settling into your practice. Just feeling the body. So we're talking today about listening to God, but we're also going to be talking a little bit about our rotator cuffs. So um, wherever you are, just notice your shoulders, your rotator cuffs are in your shoulders. You guys probably know that. Um, there are four really deep muscles, and I'm not going to bore you with the names, but there are four really deep muscles that connect your bones, your shoulder bone to your shoulder blade in the back. So maybe just noticing your shoulders right now, and you may not feel those rotator cuffs, those deep, deep muscles, just noticing your shoulders today. And we're gonna to be um, just talking about which yoga poses are great for our shoulders as we move through our practice. So we are talking about listening to God this week and, um, it's just a really great, you guys know that I like to take you through these things from time to time. It's just a great practice to be in, just really connecting with your Heavenly Father and your yoga practice is such a great time to do that because we need to really quiet our hearts and quiet our minds and quiet our bodies to really focus in on what our Heavenly Father is saying to us and focusing in on him. So it's just a great time when we have our resting poses, when we have our child poses, those times of just quiet where we can just really listen to God. In Isaiah 28, 23, it says, give ear and hear my voice. Listen and hear my words. So God does sometimes talk to us when we're in our busy days, um, when we're active, but often we need to really get quiet to listen to him. So just taking that time to do that right now as you breathe, we'll just take a little quiet time here as you just, again, just settle into your breath, settle into your practice. We'll take four or five breaths here. Take one more big deep breath and release. Really nice. Let's go ahead and start to stretch. So if you're not already, go ahead and line your back, reaching all the way back. Really thinking about your fingertips, thinking about their shoulders, thinking about the tips of your toes, lengthening your body out like a Slinky, just stretching it all the way out, stretching out your spine. On the exhale, we're going to bring in that right leg. Interlace your fingers at your lower right leg. Squeeze that right leg into your chest. Really press it in. And from here, we're going to go into our half of a happy baby or our upside down runner's lunge, grabbing your foot gently and then drawing that knee down, that right knee down towards the ground. Okay, so you want to drop it down as far as you can. You might feel it in the back of the leg or those inner groin muscles. Really get into that deep stretch. It's a really nice angle here. So drop that knee down. And then we're going to take that right leg nice and high, interlacing your fingers behind your right leg, flexing your right foot, drawing your right toes down. We'll stay here for a breath. 
And then we'll circle that right foot. Just noticing the ankle, getting that nice stretch into the ankle and spreading your toes. And we'll gently reverse. Just being mindful of your breath here. One more. And then bring that left leg in. Bring your right foot or ankle to your left leg. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Draw that left leg in. You can use your right elbow to send your right leg out. Keep both feet flexed. So really pull those toes back. And draw that left leg in. And we'll take a breath here. All right, let's release. And stretch it out. Come back to that big upside down Superman pose. Lengthening all the way back. Big, big stretch. And we'll exhale. Do that left side. So interlace your fingers at your lower left leg. Draw your left knee in. Squeeze it in nice and tight. Keep your shoulders squared off here. We'll take a breath. You guys are doing great. Great way to get in some awesome movement into your body today. Let's go ahead and go to that half happy baby or upside down runner's lunge. Taking the arch of the foot, drawing that left knee down. It's on the left side of your body. You want to make that space there so you draw it down. You don't want to do it into your body. You're going to get blocked. So make sure you've got that space. Drop that left knee down. And we'll take a breath. And then lift that left leg. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Really flex that foot. Really press your heel up. Engage the muscles in your leg. Try to lengthen that leg as much as you can. Take a breath. And then we'll circle that left foot. Noticing the movement in the ankle, spreading out your toes. Let's reverse. Always breathing. Nice job, you guys. We'll do one more. Bring it back into center. Bring your right leg in. Your left foot or ankle comes to your right leg. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg and pull it in. Flex both your feet. You can use your left elbow to send your left leg away. Keep your neck nice and long. Keep your chin up. And let's draw that leg in a little bit more. And we'll take a breath here. And release. All the way back. Go into that big upside down Superman pose. Last time, big, big stretch here. Lengthen and exhale, knees in. So do both legs. Knees come in, squeeze them into the chest. And then we're going to go into our happy baby. So using again both legs. We're not going to rock, just take the feet, draw the knees down. That wonderful hip opener. We'll take a breath here. Really try to drop those knees. And then we'll lift the legs high. So both legs high. Hands on the backs of the legs. Point your, whoops, flex your feet. <laughs> Draw your toes down. Send your heels up. Really lengthening those legs. And we'll take a breath here. And then take your feet as wide as you want. We're going to circle out the feet. You can go as wide as your mat, maybe not that wide. Maybe you want to go really wide. It's really up to you. We'll circle the feet. Spreading your toes. Let's take one more. And then we'll go the opposite way. All right, really nice, everyone. Let's take one more. Bring it back into center. Drop your knees into your chest with your exhale. 
With your inhale, bring your feet to your mat. We're going to go into our butterfly legs. So reclined butterfly, soles of the feet pressing together. Bring your right hand to your heart. Bring your left hand to your belly. So just feeling your breath as we breathe. Just taking this quiet moment, let's take four or five breaths here. And your reclined butterfly. Just take those breaths as you listen to God. Take your last breath here. All right, release. Take those arms out. Take your left knee over to the right side. And then we're going to roll over to that right side and gently press up. Come up to your seated position. Sitting tall, legs crossed. Big breath up. Stretching that spine up towards the sky. Hands together in prayer. Let's drop it down with your exhale. And we'll do one more here. Big breath up. Stretching up, reaching up, hands come together in prayer, drop it down with your exhale. Hands come to your knees, we're going to circle out the core. This is a great time to close your eyes, notice what's going on within, notice your hips, keep those hips down, maybe you notice your shoulders as you move. Really using your breath here. Let's take one more big circle. And we'll gently reverse our circles. So make them big and move slowly. And enjoy. Feel that core again. Maybe you feel your shoulders. Maybe you notice your shoulders. Just notice any new sensations that you might feel in your body. Really nice, you guys. Let's take another big circle. All right. Way to go. Let's bring it back in this center. So go ahead and switch your legs to the opposite. So the opposite foot is in front, opposite leg is in front. We're going to take a big breath up, inhale. And we're going to drop the hands behind with an exhale. So coming into our chest opener. Leaning back, lifting your chest. Think about widening that chest. Lifting and breathing. Creating that nice arch in your back. We'll take one more breath here. And then we're going to come forward and stretch it all the way forward. Walk it forward. Reach it out. Hips are down. Looking down at the mat, or looking forward, whichever way you're looking. One more breath here. And then bring it back in the center. So we're going to take butterfly legs, and we're going to go back into our chest opener. So reach back. And again, you can always take your hands as wide as you want, or maybe you want to take them closer together. Lift the chest, lift your heart space. Maybe you feel your shoulder blades squeeze together in the back. Let's breathe here. And just creating that nice arch in your back. We'll take one more breath. And then bring it into center and walk it all the way forward. Looking down, getting that lovely stretch into your back. One more breath here. All 
right, really nice, you guys. So come back up, cross your legs. So we're gonna work into our shoulders and do a really nice shoulder stretch. That involves our rotator cuff. But first, just taking your arm, your left arm across the body and with your right hand, holding by that wrist. So you want your shoulders dropped. You don't want your shoulders lifted, right? Just getting that nice stretch into your shoulders. Just taking that arm across the body. See how far you can go. Of course, you don't want to feel anything uncomfortable here. And your palm should be facing back on that long arm. So take a breath here. Make sure you're sitting tall. And we'll release, and we'll go the other way. So take that right arm in front, just holding by the wrist, pressing back. And again, your the right palm is facing back with your thumb up. So just getting that nice stretch there into that shoulder. All right, really nice. Let's go ahead and release. So we're gonna go on a cow face. So cow face is a really nice stretch for your shoulder, your rotator cuffs, well, your shoulders with your rotator cuffs in there. So I think you guys know the drill, but I'll go ahead and turn around. You're taking your right elbow and you're just pressing down with your left hand, pushing your head back into that right arm, making sure your spine is really vertical, really reaching down the center of your back with your right hand. This is a nice way to get into those rotator cuffs. And we'll just take a breath or two here. Just maybe notice what's going on in their shoulders. Maybe notice any sensations, any new sensations you feel. And then we'll go ahead and release and we'll do that other side. So taking that left elbow in the right hand, gently pressing down. And again, making sure your spine is vertical, pressing the head back, pressing the chin back. Okay, see what you feel in that left shoulder. Take a breath or two here. This is a wonderful tricep stretch as well. I know we're talking about rotator cuffs, but just notice what's going on in there. And we'll take one more breath. release and float it down. Go ahead and shake that out. It's kind of an intense stretch, so shake out the arms and the hands. Way to go. We'll sit tall and just circle up that neck really slow. Super slow. And really just do anything you like here. You guys know what you're doing. It's your neck. See what it needs today. See what it requires today and see what feels best. And just move slowly. If you haven't already reversed direction, go ahead and do that. Just being aware of your breath. And take a few more wherever you are. Really nice. Let's come back into center. All right, onto your knees, tabletop. So we're going to start where we often start with our cat and cow. So making sure your fingers are spread wide and your knees are under your hips. Move into your cat with your exhale. And then coming into your cow with your inhale. Head up, tilt your pelvis out. Let's go ahead and do this at your pace. Okay, with your breath, move through your cat and cow. Sometimes it's nice to just really take your time here. Focusing on the fluidity of your spine, all the way from the top down to your tailbone. Okay, so finish up the set that you're on or do one more set. We're going to come back into our tabletop. We're going to move our hands a little bit forward. So we're going to again move through our cat and cow, but this time moving forward as you come into your cow and then 
Exhaling, rounding for cat, moving back. So move forward, cow. Exhale, round and move back. Just like a wave, move forward, inhale. Exhale, round and move it back. Move it forward. That modified cow, exhale, modified cat. Let's do one more. Let's make it very fluid. Moving forward and moving back. All right, let's bring those wrists back under your shoulders. Left hand under your nose, right arm comes high. We're gonna take a big stretch up and reach up. And then we're gonna pass that right arm under the body, but stay lifted, don't come down. Look for your right fingertips. Get a nice twist in your upper back. And we're going to do that one more time. So reach up big, nice, big, beautiful stretch up, palm facing away from you. And then exhale, pass it under. And look for those right fingertips. And then we're going to stretch it up again. And this time we're going to Bring that arm all the way down to the mat. Lean into your right shoulder, right side of your head on your mat. Take a breath or two here. You can reach your left fingers forward. Come on back up, back to your tabletop. And we'll go right hand under your nose, left arm high, stretch up, reach up, look up. Pass it under that right arm under your body. You're going to look for those left fingertips. Okay, stay lifted, nice twist in your upper back. We'll do it again, big breath up, stretch up. That's your inhale, exhale, pass it under as you twist. Look for the fingertips, and then one more time. Here we go, big breath up. Reach it up. Exhale, pass it under, lean into that left side, head on the mat. You can reach forward with your right fingertips. Feel that left shoulder. Rest into it. We'll take another breath or two here. All right, here we go, back into our tabletop. Right foot back, nice little stretch into your calf muscle. So tuck your right toes, press back. Nice job, everybody. Let's go with the other side. Press it back, push it back. Wake up those calf muscles back there. Take a breath. Bring it back into your tabletop and we'll move into our downward facing dog. When you're ready, go ahead and lift your hips up. Okay, it's always nice just to take a few breaths here and settle into your downward facing dog, noticing your alignment. Making sure that your heels are behind your toes, hips pressing back, ears by your upper arms. Let's take a breath. And then we're going to bend both knees deeply, lift your heels, and then lengthen your legs. Press your heels towards the mat. Bend both knees deeply. Do it again. Really bend into those knees and then lengthen those legs. Heels towards the mat. One more time. Bend those knees. And then lengthen the legs, lift those hips, press the heels towards the mat. All right, nice job, you guys. Legs wide. Right hand to your left leg. Draw your body towards your left leg. Look at your left leg. Get that lovely stretch there. Draw your body in. Maybe a little twist. Maybe you look up under your left arm. And release, right hand back to its place, left hand to your right leg, same thing. Draw your body and look at the right leg. Maybe you then shift 
to look up under your right arm. All right, left hand back to its place. Heels come high for a nice big stretch into your feet. Exhale, heels come down, and we'll do that again. Heels come high. Stretch it out. Heels come down. Walk your hands to your feet. And then bring your hands to your waist. So nice, soft knees. Bring your hands to your waist. Bring your body up. We're going to come into star pose. So star pose, arms are out. You basically look like a star. You got it. You guys got it. All right. So we're going to, again, your legs are wide, your arms are wide. We're going to stretch it down. Left side. And then we're going to bring it back into that star. And we're going to go the other way. Stretch it down that right side. And bring it back into your star. We'll do that again. So think about maybe going a little farther this time. Maybe that top arm reaches a little bit more. And back into your star. And go the other way. Nice lengthening of that side body. And back into center, back into your star. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and swan dive, big wide swan dive, all the way down. And then walk your hands forward and bring your feet in for your downward facing dog. So we'll go ahead and step it out here. So the reason rotator cuffs are, well, the reason rotator cuffs are important, are, there's lots of reasons, but they stabilize your shoulder. Rotator cuffs stabilize your shoulder. So we're going to do a stabilizing exercise here. We're going to come into our plank. So your shoulders are over your wrists. Okay. Your fingers are spread wide. Your belly's drawn up. You're pushing your ink, your heels back. So your legs are engaged. Let's go back into our downward facing dog. Push your hips back and we'll do that again. Shift forward. Come into your plank. Plank is a great exercise for lots of things, but it will help stabilize your shoulders. So if you have shoulder issues, good to know. All right, back to your downward facing dog. Take a breath. We're going to do it two more times, really strong. Move forward, shoulders over the wrists. If you're looking at your mat or maybe you're looking forward, nice long spine, belly drawn up. Back into your downward facing dog. Nice job, everyone. We're going to do that one more time. So really strong. When you're ready, shift into your plank. Breathing, always breathing. Stabilizing those shoulders. So nice. We want nice, strong shoulders so we don't get tears. As we get older, they tear easily. Let's go back into our downward facing dog. All right, so take a breath, step it out here. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's push into your left foot. Right leg comes high. Knee to nose, round your back and exhale. Take your right leg high with your breath. Right foot to your right hand. There's that runner's lunge. So just kind of settle into that, get a little movement in your first one. And then we'll come back to center. We're going to lower that left knee, untuck your left toes, reach it up for a nice big crescent. Take your arms wide. So just like you're lifting that heart up to Jesus, arms wide, praising him. We'll bring it back into center. Hands to the mat, sit it back for your half split. So draw your toes back, hold over. Sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear. Let's go back into our runner's lunge. All right, so we're gonna push off with your back foot, have it come up to meet your front foot. And then we're gonna slowly rise up with the breath, taking it all the way up, and we'll exhale down. We'll take a big breath up, inhale, exhale down, and one more big breath up. Hold it here, left leg comes back. High lunge. 
Okay, you know that dropping that back heel is always an option. Doing your high lunge, we're gonna lengthen those legs, drop the arms down. And then inhale, take the arms up, bend that front knee. Way to go, hands to the mat. Right leg back, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that left side. Left leg comes high, knee to nose. Exhale, round the back. Bring it in, crunch those abs. Left leg high, runner's lunge. All right, so first one on this side, we'll get a little movement, some warming up those hip flexors, etc. And then come back into center. And right knee comes down. Untuck your right toes. Big breath up. We'll take those arms wide, just lifting the gaze, lifting the heart space, opening it up. And then we'll drop it down. We'll come into that half split. Folding over, pulling the toes back, lengthening that left leg. Focusing on your hamstrings. Take one more breath here. All right, back to your runner's lunge. Tuck your right toes, push off with your back foot, have it come up to meet your front foot. Rounded back, heavy arms, rise up strong, big breath, inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, one more inhale up. Hold it here, right leg comes back, high lunge. All right, so just sink into your high lunge or you can drop your back heel for your warrior win. All right, we're gonna lengthen that front leg, lift, arms come down. Inhale, bend that front knee, lower down as arms come high. Hands to the mat, left leg back, downward facing dog. Let's move into our first Vinyasa, our first flow of the day. So there's that strong plank again. Okay, heads past the fingertips. Lower down, elbows pointed back. You can always drop your knees. Come into your cobra or your up dog. And then tucking your toes for your downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a breath here. All right. So we're going to move through that again. Here we go. Right leg comes high. Knee to nose. Exhale. Crunch those abs. Take it up with a breath. Runner's lunge. All right, you get some movement if you want. And then we're going to go into that crescent. Left knee down. Breathe it up. Arms wide. Open it up. Lovely back bend. Bring those hands to the mat. Sit it back, half split. Pull the toes back. Find your way back to your runner's lunge. Left knee off the mat. Push off with your back foot. Round it back and heavy arms. Take that breath up. Carry it all the way up. Inhale. Exhale down. Do it again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Take it high, hold it here. Left leg comes back. High lunge or warrior one, whichever one you choose. Lengthening the legs, dropping the arms. Just this once. And then we'll come back into that high lunge or warrior one. Hands to the mat. Right leg back, downward facing dog. You can step it out, take a breath, whatever you need here. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Knee to nose, exhale. Lift that left leg high for your three-legged dog. Runner's lunge. Take a moment here, and then we'll go to that. Well, not a moment, that's longer. Let's go. Go to your crescent pose, untuck your back toes. Take it up big, lean into it. Lovely back bend, arms nice and wide. Drop those hands to the mat. Sit straight back for your half split. Pull your left toes back. Always, always breathing. Back into your runner's lunge. Lift that right knee, push off with your back foot, have it come up to meet your front foot. Slowly rise up, big breath. You guys are getting good at this, 
by now, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, hold it here, right leg back, take it however you need to, sink into your pose, and then we're going to lengthen the legs, drop the arms, inhale back up to your pose, hands to the mat, Left leg back down, we're facing dogs. So you can go to your child's pose here, or if you want to take your vinyasa, it's really up to you. Take it strong. Alignment, always important. Cobra or up dog. Down, we're facing dog. All right, so everybody to our child's pose. Really nice. So sometimes God needs to teach us how to listen, okay? We need to listen so we can do his will. We know what his plans for us are. We want to follow his will, not our will. You know, his will is always better. So just tune into God right now. Tune into Jesus while you rest in your child's pose. pointing down, your heels going up towards the sky. So just take a breath here and then bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Press your left knee into the back of your right knee. Okay, so maybe this is your pose. Maybe you stay here with that left foot flexed. Or maybe you walk your hands in a little bit and then lift the body and lift the hands and come into an airplane pose here. So it's totally optional. You don't need to do that. Or you can keep one hand on the mat and maybe just do one arm out, one little airplane wing. Try the other hand maybe, or maybe you go for both. So if you do have both, you want to try to make sure your body is parallel to the ground, to the mat. Okay, you're breathing wherever you are. Keep it strong. And then we're going to go back into our three-legged dog. Sorry, standing splits, <laughs> left leg high, and then we'll drop that left leg, and we'll do the other side. So again, your hands are in front of your feet, right leg comes high. Maybe again, just check, look, make sure your right toes are pointed down towards the ground. You're lifting your right heel and your standing splits. Take a breath. Remember, it's just yoga, don't panic, it's okay. Let's bend that left knee and then bring that right knee behind it. So just kind of press it in really strong, flexing your right foot. And again, maybe this is your pose or maybe you want to take an arm out or the other arm out. Or maybe lifting the body parallel 
to the ground and trying both arms out, it's really entirely up to you. You go with whatever level you feel comfortable with today. Okay, we're breathing. If you've got both arms out, let's really focus on that standing foot, using four corners, using the toes. And then wherever you are, we'll release back into your standing splits. Right leg comes high. And go ahead and drop it down. And walk those wonderful feet back into your downward facing dog. All right, step it out and breathe. Let's do two heel lifters here. Here, stretch out your feet, shift forward. Feel those shoulders over your wrists. Press back, exhale, heels down. Back to your down dog. And then one more time, heels high. Shift forward. Nice and strong and heels down. Exhale. All right, way to go, you guys. Push into your left foot, right leg comes high. We're going into our warrior one pose. Whip out your back foot. Rise up strong. Remember that warrior one, we want our hips squared forward. That's going to give us better balance, better alignment. Hips are squared forward, shoulders are squared forward. So from here, we're going to go into a side angle stretch. So we're going to come down, little twist, right arm down, left arm high. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you drop that left hand to your low back or your right hip crease. Maybe you go all the way for a bind. If you want to, wrapping underneath, taking your hands underneath. So if you're in a half wrap or a full wrap, think about that top shoulder. You want to bring it back. And again, this is good for your rotator cuff. Drawing that top shoulder back. Your bottom shoulder is lifting also up and forward if you're in your full bind. Not so much if the hand is on the mat. So just notice that top shoulder. Notice where that's at. So we're going to release. We're going to come back into our warrior one. Rising up nice and strong. All right. And from there, we're going to go to that wonderful downward facing dog. So bring your hands to the mat. Right leg back. And we're back in our down dog. You can take your flow here. Or maybe you just want to take your plank. Just working into those rotator cuffs. Nice and strong with your shoulders over your wrists. Crown of the head reaching forward. So everybody comes back to downward facing dog. We'll push into the right foot. Left leg high. Find that wonderful warrior one. Rising up strong. All right, so back foot is flat. Try to lengthen that back leg. A lot of us tend to bend this back knee. Try to lengthen that back leg. That's why we press into that back foot and the outer edge of your back foot. All right, so warrior one. Way to go, you guys. So again, we're going to come down. Just twist a little to the side. Side angle stretch. Left hand down, right arm high. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you take an option your hand to your low back or your left hip crease. You can really pull that top shoulder back, working into that rotator cuff. Maybe you want to go crazy and go for that full bind with your left arm under your left leg. But again, pulling that shoulder back. If you're in your side angle stretch, you're not going to get that quite as much. So just see where you can go with this. And then we'll release everybody at side angle stretch. And then we come back to warrior one. Nice and high. Hands to the mat. Left leg back to downward facing dog. So again, your option. You can take your plank. You can take your flow. Or go straight to your child's pose. Your choice. All right, so everybody into child's pose. We don't want to miss one word that he speaks. So let's just quiet our minds. 
and listen to him. Feel your breath as you breathe into your rib cage. Feel your back lift as you breathe in. Two more breaths here. but they're pants. You can grab your pants. Okay, and if that doesn't work, you can just press your heels up towards the sky. So bow pose, really good for your spine, good for your back. If you've got your feet in your hands, you're gonna come up, pushing those feet into those hands. Your thumb is with your fingers. That's gonna give you more strength. Don't separate them. Lifting your chest away from the ground, breathing. Keep lifting. If you're, again, if your feet are in your hands, push those feet into your hands. Strong. Extend through the crown of your head. One more breath in. And release. Exhale. Also a really nice stretch into your shoulders. Go ahead and release that. Drop everything down and just let it go. Just breathe. Take a couple more breaths here. All right, we're going to do it again. Bring your chin to center. Take it whichever way works for you. Bow pose. You think of the shape of a bow. We're going for that in our spine. Okay, so lifting the chest off the ground. Pushing your feet into your hands. Thumbs are with your fingers. Right under those toes. Or you're holding onto your pants. Or you're pressing your heels up. One more breath here. Maybe a little bit higher as you breathe in. And then exhale and release. Everything comes down. Really let it go. Other side of your face to your mat. Just breathe. Allow the arms and legs to relax. We'll take a couple more breaths. Bring it back in the center. Gently press up. Come to your tabletop. And we'll just kind of press those hips out nice and easy to each side. So really think about the crown of the head reaching for your mat. Let your head hang. Let your neck relax. Keep your belly drawn up and just press it out. All right, way to go. Let's do one more each way. And we'll come back in the center. So go ahead and come onto your bottom, one of your hip bones, 
And then we're gonna go into a boat pose. From boat pose, we're gonna just gently lower down all the way to our backs. <sighs> Bring your right knee in. Try to squeeze that in. Just take a breath here. And then we'll find our twist. Right knee over the left side, right arm is out. You're looking to your right hand, completing your twist all the way up through that neck. Still breathing. Wonderful job today, everybody. Way to go. I'll pat you each on the back if I could. Let's go ahead and unwind. Right knee out to the right side. Opening up your right hip. Remember, it's okay if your knee is up in the air. If your leg is suspended, that's okay. Sometimes that feels better. Or maybe it's on the ground. Shoulders are squared off. Neck is long. Chin is up. You're breathing in your hip opener here. Just letting it happen. More breaths here. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Bring that right knee in. Gently take your right leg out to the mat. Left knee comes in. Speak, Lord. Squeeze it in. Keep their shoulders squared off. Flex that right foot. Take a breath. And then we'll find our twist. Left knee over the right side. Left arm out. Lift to your left hand. Gently unwind. Bring back into center, left knee out to the left side. Breathing. Enjoying that lovely hip opener on the left side. chest with your exhale and with your inhale we'll go into our happy baby just gently rocking that out just breathing with your neck really long and your eyes closed just smile on your face Gently move. It's 
Some days it's nice to have a more active, happy baby. Some days it's nice to just have more of a calm, happy baby. Let's see what you like today. You did so many nice hip openers today. Way to go, everybody. Let's take a few more here. And then we'll bring it back into center and drop the knees into your chest with your exhale. And with your inhale, we're going to take our arms overhead with a nice big long stretch. We're just going to take one. So we'll stay here. You can take whatever expression you like with your hands, prayer hands or a fist or steeple hands, whatever you like, and just really stretch. Focus on their shoulders. Focus on your abdominal muscles. Maybe you focus on the tops of your feet. Or maybe you focus on your hands and your fingertips. Just keep stretching here. And take one more breath in and stretch a little bit more. And then release with your exhale. Bring your knees in, hands behind your knees, knees to your head, head to your knees. Gently release. Walk it out. Take it wide. You get nice and big, get really relaxed. Feet flop open to the sides. Make sure your back is comfortable. Let's take one more big breath in here. And really release with a big exhale. And then just breathing softly. Breathing naturally. In and out. Let that breath really take over. Just follow that breath. Focusing on your back. Think about your tailbone and your glute muscles. Your lumbar spine, that lower back. And then your mid spine, your thoracic, all the way up to your cervical spine. So all the way up to your neck. Focus on the entire spine and let your back relax. Let your glute muscles relax. And just feel it all release. And then bring your attention to the top side of your body. So your hip bones at the front of your body, your lower belly, mid belly, upper belly, your lungs, your chest. Just let the entire top side of your body relax. Feel the breath begin to soften more and more. Think about your shoulders and your shoulder blades. And those rotator cuffs that connect them. Those rotator cuff muscles. And just let all that relax. Just let those shoulder blades sink into the ground. And then noticing your left arm and noticing your right arm, let your arms relax all the way down to your wrists. And 
noticing your left hand and noticing your right hand. Let your hands and your fingers fully relax. Attention now to your legs, your left leg and your right leg. And from top to bottom, just allow your legs to relax. Notice how heavy they become. All the way down to your ankles. The legs are relaxed. And then allowing the heels and the feet and the toes to relax. Just letting the heels sink into the ground. Now just follow the line of your body all the way back up to your neck, to your jaw, to your mouth. Just allow those areas to relax and release. Dropping the tongue down, dropping the jaw down. Softening the lips. And then noticing your cheeks, muscles around your eyes and your forehead. All those muscles just melting towards your mat, allowing your face to relax. Take it to the top of your head. Take it down the back of your head. Allowing your head to really rest into your mat and into the ground. Maybe you notice your heart beating in your chest. Maybe you notice your breath. And in this really quiet, relaxed state, this is just a beautiful place to listen to our Heavenly Father. Proverbs 8, verse 32 says, Now therefore, O sons and daughters, listen to me. For blessed are they who keep my ways. We have this crazy topsy-turvy world swirling around us. It's good to just listen to God. What does God say? What does he say to you about all this stuff? Or maybe just things going on in your life. Maybe you have questions. This is a great time to just listen, and breathe, and relax.
lovely job, everyone. I wish we could stay here all day. But go ahead and bring back some movement. Just gently, your hands, your feet, your head. Just gently bring some movement back and then roll over to your right side. Stay there for a breath or so and then come on up. All right, way to go, you guys. Let's go ahead and bow our heads in prayer. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father God, we just want to listen to you, Lord God, because we know from you comes wisdom. And we know that you make sense of things that don't make sense to us. So we just want to listen to you, Lord God. Help us to find these quiet times where we can just connect with you. We know it's hard because our minds are often racing, but we need these times to connect with you and just be quiet and still and know that you are God. So thank you for this time, Lord. I thank you for my wonderful students. I pray this time has blessed them internally and externally from the tops of their heads down all the way to the tips of their toes and that they feel renewed and refreshed because of you. And we do thank you, God, for dying on the cross for our sins. We're so grateful that you took the punishment for us so that we can be in heaven with you one day. We give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, Lord God, and it's in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. Nice job, everybody. Oh, yeah. Way to go.